Emmerich. I have to say that has to be the best name for a hermaphrodite I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I've had a bad couple of weeks recently, to be fair. To be fair, um, I just found out I'm adopted. Um, both my parents were vampires, and since then I've not been able to look myself in the mirror. <laughs> Spot the Twilight geeks who laughed at that one, by the way. <laughs> uh, no, but seriously, I've had a, a bad few couple of weeks. I did a small tour of London, Birmingham, Nottingham, Liverpool. And apparently starting the show off with, are you ready to have a riot? Doesn't work quite so well down south <laughs> as it does up here. <laughs> So after I got out of the cells, I managed to uh, <laughs> I managed to catch a bit of the riot, riots on TV. Did you notice every time it was JD Sports that was getting looted? Every single time. And it was just in and out. There was no way they could have got through the stock rooms. So it, folk must be walking about with poorly fitting right shoes. <laughs> <laughs> because there is no way any of them managed to get a proper fitting pair. It was either JD Sports or Ladbrokes, so I think just about every exam for the next 20 years is going to be done in one of those small little red pens. <laughs> but um, I can't help but feel if, if the looters had been robbing somewhere a bit, you know, more highbrow, that we would have been a bit, you know, more lenient on them. For example, if they'd been robbing a Waterstones or a WH Smith's, We'd have been a bit more lenient. For stealing Leo Tolstoy's War and Peace, you're getting six weeks in the jail because it should give you just about enough time to read the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the one thing I did notice was the, some of the inequality when they were sentencing people. I saw a couple, one male, one female, because we're all open-minded here, um, robbed a watch shop. He got time. Sorry, that's bad. <laughs> Um, but they're only going to tag her. <laughs> oh, screw you, that's the best watch pun you'll ever hear. <laughs> if you hear a better watch pun than that, you can come up here and clock me. <laughs> no, but um, I, I mentioned bookshops. I'm, I'm a big book fan, and uh, one of my favourite sets of books is the, I don't know if you've seen them, it's Astrophysics for Dummies, etc. You've seen these yellow books, red. <laughs> That's really not funny. That wasn't a joke. There is a book called Astrophysics for Dummies. And it's not just Brian Cox. Um, but yeah, anyway, they should really... <laughs> okay, yeah, it's okay. Do you want a shot? No, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, they have a whole series of books. And really, they're not for dummies. They're just for people who want to know enough to make it sound like they're clever compared to other people. So they should just rename them something similar. But one of the books that uh, is in this series is Religion for Idiots, but they've just uh, branded it slightly differently and called it the Bible. <laughs> um, I bought one of the books before I did my last stand-up gig. It was called uh, Stand-Up Comedy for Idiots. And uh, I read the first page and it said, talk about something close to your heart. So my first gig was five minutes of jokes about my ribs. <laughs> they should really be a lot less uh, figurative and a lot more literal if it's a book for dummies. But um, that that resulted in a terribly cagey atmosphere. But um, yeah, Tim Vine had told that joke. You'd all be pissing yourself. So give me a break here. Eh? Anyway, I wanted to talk to something a little bit, uh, talk about something quite close to my heart, and that is, I've already touched on it, religion, because, to be honest, I find it, frankly, quite hilarious. Um, my favourite bit, I've read Genesis a few times, and it, it strikes me as quite, quite obvious that God was a lazy bastard. I don't know if you know, but on day one, everything was dark, and God created light, and then he separated day from light, and took the rest of the day off. Now, to me, that seems awfully lazy. So he's lazy, he's not doing much, and he's proud of his work. God was happy that it was good. So he's lazy, and he's proud of himself. Two of the seven deadly sins, and that's supposed to be, you know, our sort of number one dude. You know? <laughs> seven days, and he only spent six of them working as well. Maybe if he'd done a bit of work on the seventh day, we wouldn't have all these tectonic plates and all these earthquakes. 
And what, what's fairly obvious today, maybe we wouldn't have so many hurricanes, eh? But um, I think that must be me coming up to about five minutes. So all I'll say is uh, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your night. hope you're as nice to everyone else as you were to me. And uh, good night and God bless. Woo!